What if I tell you there are two extremely incredibly valuable times during Ramadan when if you make dua you have a very good chance to have your wishes fulfilled. Wow. So listen up. O messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam which dua is most heard or most accepted inquired Abu Umama radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu. Dua in the last third of the night replied the prophet. This is the time before fajr. So why is this time so special? Because Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala has specified this hour for his majestic descent. He descends every night to the lowest heaven and calls out to those who will invoke him. Yet this is the time when we are the most negligent because we are fast asleep and it's not easy to leave the comfort of your bed and choose to wake up and make dua. You won't do this unless you have a persuasive ikhlas, sincerity and an overwhelming raghaba desire. You won't leave your coziness unless you truly believe and are sure and confident that Allah will respond to you when you call upon him at this hour. You won't leave your slumber unless you are truly sincere and genuine to get what you want. You won't leave your relaxation unless you are heartfelt in your tauba and seeking forgiveness. So when you display this unwavering ikhlas and raghaba and abandon your bed to invoke your rabb at this time, Allah promises a sure positive response to your call. He comes down to the lowest heaven and says, "Who will call upon me so that I may answer him?" Allah has promised to give you what you ask of him at this time. He says, "Who will ask me so that I may give him?" He has promised to forgive you if you ask his forgiveness at this hour. He says, "Who will seek my forgiveness so that I may forgive him?" So this is an incredibly honorable and special time which you should not miss. At least not during Ramadan, because the virtues of this great month make this hour more special and virtuous. And surely it is easier to catch up with this time during Ramadan than outside it because you do get up for suhoor don't you pre-dawn meal is a sunnah and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam encouraged taking suhoor he said eating suhoor is baraka blessing so do not miss it even if you take a sip of water suhoor is important because it gives you the strength you need to worship allah throughout the day for the salat the quran and the zikr in ramadan a starving person cannot perform well he is sluggish and there is no enthusiasm and the heartiness which is required to rightly perform the fast because fasting is not just keeping away from eating and drinking you also have to keep away from bad language and immoral behavior allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said if one of you is being cursed or annoyed he should say I am fasting I am fasting and suhoor helps you in keeping up with these etiquettes because it protects you from intense hunger hunger which can trigger bad manners that decrease your rewards so make sure you wake up for suhoor rather a few minutes earlier and schedule some time for dua and istighfar and let me tell you something that will make you even more eager to make dua at this precious time In the Quran when Allah praised his believing slaves those who will enter Jannah and live therein forever he mentioned that one of their distinctive qualities is that they used to seek forgiveness before dawn and in the hours before dawn they were asking Allah for forgiveness and the other valuable opportunity for dua arrives just before maghrib when you are hungry and thirsty and you feel your weakest You realize how vulnerable you are how weak you are without just the daily basic needs which Allah provides for you It is at this time that you are truly truly humbled and the dua you make with this humbleness in your heart is more likely to be answered But aren't we always too busy preparing iftar at this hour so much that we don't realize that these precious moments are slipping away unnoticed and unused but not any more my dear sister inshallah this ramadan let's wrap up our chores and close the kitchen 
a few minutes before iftar for dua and istighfar. Did this video help you get eager to grab the best opportunities for dua? Then help me spread the word. Share this video with family and friends. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our duas and make us amongst those who benefit from the blessed hours of Ramadan. Ameen ya Rabb. For more Islamic videos, subscribe to the Striving Muslima YouTube channel or get yourself to the strivingmuslima.com and subscribe to the mailing list. I will keep you updated about all the latest videos and interesting articles at the Striving Muslima blog, where every Striving Muslima nurtures her Islamic identity and builds confidence.